Hello everyone and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Sela speaking. So actually guys, before we start, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. So actually I was considering to not release the midweek analysis video today because of the FOMC statement today, of course, uh, which will be going to be happen at 6 p.m. Uh, GMT time. However, the reason actually guys that I still continue to make this video is actually, uh, if you read about it, you will notice that the Federal Reserves are most likely going to hold the same rate as 5.50%. Um, the reason, of course, is they are waiting for more data to be received in order to compare it, of course, with the uh, U.S. economy and how it's affecting it. So, therefore, I believe that the rates are going to be the same. So, therefore, I believe also that the uh, FOMC today is really not going to make any impact on the market or actually not really that big impact as we are expecting. Therefore, let's now proceed to the midweek analysis. And as usual, we will start with the Euro USD. So now, as you can see, I have sent here a signal on Saturday to sell the Euro USD exactly from this level at 1.06834. However, this guy's most likely now going to change. Let me explain to you something here. Let's now move to the four hour time frame. So now, as you can see, yesterday, this signal actually was going in the wrong direction, of course, against us. And finally, it went now to the entry point, finally. However, this movement right here is actually dangerous. Um, we must likely now, guys, cannot continue selling the Euro USD after the appearing of, of this price action. Now, someone might tell me, but Salah, this is actually a good indicator for a bearish movement or a pressure from the sellers. Well, actually, no, you're not really, you're actually wrong and right about it. There is indeed a pressure, but however, if we look at the general price action, guys, allow me to delete the old signal so it will not confuse us. Now, if you go, if you look at the bigger time frame right now, what we can see right here is a strong bullish movement happened right here on Monday above that level of a previous support. And now the Euro USD seems like it's going to continue the fall to reach the same level of a real support. And after that, it's going to continue the rise. Actually, also right here, the price action, this one, um, before the appearance of this candle, this was fine. This was actually a good indicator to start selling the market. But Monday's candle, as you can see, it was a strong bullish candle. And that actually has changed everything. Uh, right now, uh, this price action right here after the appearance of this candle is now a good confirmation, in my opinion, that the market right now is going to continue the rise. Because if you see guys inverted hammer appeared on a support level especially on the daily chart and on a support level it's usually a good sign that the market is going to continue the rise and indeed that week right here represents a pressure from the buyers not the sellers it's showing that the buyers are actually are able to push the market to reach the price of 1.07250 and therefore i believe that today uh, we will witness actually a retest of that level of the support and from that point my friends we can most likely buy the pair so moving now to the four hour time frame, I would recommend actually let's move to the one hour time frame. Let's just move to the left side to identify, of course, the strongest levels of a real support. And I'm just keep scrolling to the left. Yes, indeed. Check this out right here. Exactly. Uh, let me just be more precise. Exactly right there at 1.06680. And just for extra confirmation, I'm going to use the Fibonacci retracement. Uh, oh my God. Yes, yes. We're actually on uh, 23.6. Actually, um, let's just trust the Fibonacci and just place the buy order exactly at 1.06656, waiting for the market to fall to another uh, 18 or 19 pips before we can proceed to buy the Euro USD. And our take profit level, our take profit level, of course, is gonna be right here at the peak of the resistance or the key resistance at 1.07467, aiming not less than 81 pips profit. Uh, sorry, eight pips, uh, one, um, 81 pips of profit, and the safe zone that shouldn't also be ranging lower than this level of the support at 1.06289 for only 36 pips only. Let me now write the signal for you. Let's now move to the pound USD. Okay, so the pound USD signal also we have to change it because as you can see right now, Monday and Tuesday candles are actually a good signs for the bullish reversal. Let me just now delete the old signal. And by the way, guys, uh, the pound USD right now signal from the weekly analysis is activated and running in 20 pips of profit. 
But now, what's next with this pair? Actually, in my opinion, we can no longer keep the, the cell order. Deleting now the old signal. And by the way, guys, again, another reminder uh, that these signals might fail. So please be sure that you have always been prepared for the losses. And there is always a chance that, that you might lose all your money in these signals. Um, it's really up to you. These signals are not a money man uh, not, not a money management system. These are just a signals. And it's up to you how to trade them. Uh, better in pr better practice in my opinion is to compare it with your own analysis and if they match up then please proceed with the trade but again you are completely uh, responsible for any uh, results of these signals I don't hold any responsibility at all um, Forex market guys is never trusted market and there is always a possibility to lose that was just a disclaimer I had to say it anyway now let's see right here on the daily chart actually right here to be uh, precise at 1.23693 as we can see guys we're having here a strong real level of the support the market has always kept respecting that level now what we can see right here for monday and tuesday candles um these both are actually inverted hammers and again if they are spotted on a support level it's a good sign that we can start buying the market therefore i would recommend to start buying the pound usd expecting from the pair to continue the rise till it reach the nearest key resistance level at 1.25053 which means that we are looking for at least 116 pips however let's see where exactly we can start buying this pair moving now to the four hour time frame so right now, as you can see, the pair has actually formed right here exactly a strong real level of the support. Let me just be precise. It's just right there. 1.23711. So therefore, we have to wait for this pair to fall to another like 18 pips before we can start buying it. It's going to be, of course, the lowest level of the real support. And if I want to add the Fibonacci retracement to the mix, we can see that we are actually between 50 and 61.8, which is, which is usually a good level to start buying the market. Another thing here I want to use, of course, and by the way, I did not do this before recording. I'm actually just now thinking about it. Uh, we have to combine the support trend line, I think. Yes, I think that's yes, yeah, that, that's that's valid. We're having here a key resistance trend line, which has become one, two, and finally three, even four right here. We can see there is fourth attempt as a support trend line. Therefore, I believe it's going to be a good idea to start buying the market from that level. Um, move to the daily chart. I just want to confirm, guys, the support and resistance trend lines. So right here, we're having also a broken out level. Yes, that's perfect. Yes, yes. So let me just tell you guys something about the market. Um, when you are having a support trend line being broken out from with the bearish breakout candle, most likely the market is going to continue the fall till it reaches the nearest strong key support level. And from that point, it will actually make a bullish reversal to retest the broken level of the support trend line to create right here a new resistance trend line. That's exactly, in my opinion, what's happening right now. So the market has formed here a support trend line. Then the pound USD has made the bearish break out from it. And right now, facing the real level of the support uh, the real level of the support. Therefore, now we can expect from the market to continue the rise to retest the broken level of the support trend line here to create a new resistance trend line. Yes, that's a good confirmation. Hopefully, it will be a good one and hopefully it will be correct. So therefore, um, the safe zone actually shouldn't be ranging lower than this level of the support right here. Exactly the lowest level of the support at 1.23065, um, I think. Therefore, uh, the safe zone is going to be ranging for about 58 pips against 134 uh, pips of profit. Let me now write the signal for you. Let's now move to the AUD USD. All right, so AUD USD signal from the cell has also been activated and went in total of 42 pips of profit. Right now, only four pips of profit. The sell order is still activated, but in my opinion, also, we can no longer sell the AUD USD. Let's now delete the old signal and move to the daily chart. As you can see right here, also, my friends, based on the daily chart, the market has actually made here a bullish breakout from that level of a resistance at 0 0.6455. And as we can see also right here, based on the daily chart, we're having here also a real level of the support, which will most likely also going to be respected. Therefore, right here, of course, this is the real level of the support right here. It was also a resistance in the past. It was right here also recently a resistance and right here the bullish breakout candle. Therefore, I believe that the market is going to continue the fall to reach the same level of the support and will create here a new support number one. Therefore, moving now to the four hour time frame, 
now actually you can see it clearly right here exactly to be precise just like that that is going to be the new level of the support and by the way if we look here at the resistance trend line there is something here interesting check this out right now we are having here a broken level of a resistance trend line which indicates a, pos a possible actually uh, retest of that level right here. The, the market, as we can see, has already begun to retest that level. But I believe right now, uh, due to the, brush, the pressure of that resistance right here, the market might most likely will continue the fall to another 17 pips or 18 pips before we can finally buying it. That level of the support right here will most likely, guys, be respected. And right here, we can start buying the AUD USD. And the take profit level has got to be, of course, right here at the nearest real level of a resistance as 0 0.65619, aiming approximately 123 pips of profit. Hmm, that might actually be a lot. I don't like giving these signals for the AUD USD. Uh, let me just reduce the take profit level to be a more realistic level. Uh, that's going to be better, actually. Aiming approximately, guys. 94 pips of profit meanwhile the safe zone will be ranging just till the lowest level of a real support right here as 0 0.63877 um, expecting actually a safe zone for about 50 pips against 95 pips of profit let me now write the signal for you and now moving to the usd card so unfortunately usd card signal was the only one that has failed i think it was the only one right so far it was the only one that has failed yes indeed so it happened guys uh the market of course can never go in the way that we're expecting every single time so now what's next with this pair well let me just uh, tell you something here if we go to the to the weekly chart now we are seeing here a strong bearish movement and in my opinion that level of the resistance has indeed been respected and now as we can see the pair is continuing the fall and right now it's reversing upon the pressure from the previous level of a resistance right here at uh 1.3816 however that reversal in my opinion will not hold the position for a long time because as we can see guys uh we are having here a strong real level of the support as we can see exactly right there as 1.3128 the usd cad still has about um 130 pips at least to reach that level of the support to retest it before it's going to make any further bullish movements therefore i believe the usd cad is going to continue the fall so now moving to the daily chart now on the daily chart what i can see right here if we use the fibonacci retracement check this out right here actually are seeing that the market has indeed reversed exactly at fibonacci 50 and right now it's approaching 38.2 however i believe we can actually start selling the usd cad at the bracket of 38.2 but not exactly on it most likely guys the uh, usd cad is going to continue the rise to reach that level of a previous resistance and a support as well so therefore I believe that most likely the USD CAD still has about 48 pips uh, to rise before reaching our sell level. Uh, I know it's a lot, but it's going to um, worth the waiting in my, in my opinion. And actually right now, I cannot send the signal any sooner than that. Most likely, this is going to be the best level to start selling the USD CAD. Because as we can see right here, this was a strong real level of the support, which has just been broken out from. And right here, we can see the nearest real level of a resistance has been respected as well. Therefore, if the USD CAD is going to make any uh, further movements, uh, it's going to face the pressure. It's going to face the pressure of 38.2 Fibonacci retracement along with the, the that level of a resistance. So, if you wish to to place your trade immediately, you can place it at 38.2, expect a drawdown for at least like 40 pips before finally become hopefully in profit. Again, that's going to be risky, but if you wish to it's really up to you uh, again expected drawdown for about 33 pips before become finally in profit hopefully again so therefore guys uh we will sell the usd cad exactly from 1.34940 and the take profit level guess what it's going to be right here at the the actual level of the reversal at 1.33762 aiming not less than 118 pips of profit and the save zone that will not be ranging higher than the fibonacci 23.6 at 1.35514 for about 58 pips again against um 118 pips of profit let me now write this signal for you moving now to the usgpy 
All right, so the EOS giveaway, guys, has been activated, and as we can see, running so far in good profit of about 25 pips. Again, guys, if you have entered the signal, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel, and kindly leave a comment about this signal if you have actually taken it. Anyway, uh, EOS GPY, guys, remains the same, as I don't see actually anything changed at all. This signal just remains the same. Let's now move to the NZD USD. All right, so NZD USD can never be the same. We have now to change the signal. So far, actually, it's run, running in the safe zone uh, and loss of 15 pips. However, let's see now what we can do next with this pair and deleting now the old signal. Now, moving to the daily chart. Now, the daily chart, actually, moving to the weekly chart. Now, the weekly chart actually, guys, showing us right here. Actually, this is maybe my mistake. Uh, right here, we're having inverted hammer. And as I'm telling you, not only one, one, even three of them. I mean, I'm not sure how I didn't see this, to be honest with you guys. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Uh, I'm always telling you, these candles, once appeared on the support level, especially on the weekly chart or daily chart, it's a good confirmation that the market is going to continue the rise. Look at that. The current weekly candle for just only two days, Monday and Tuesday, so far running in a strong bullish movement and seems like it's going to continue the rise. That's the power of the inverted hammer, in my opinion. And I really trust this price action. However, moving now to the daily chart, we can see right here that the market actually has faced here a support level exactly right there. Exactly. Uh, it was 0 0.58927. Uh, this was, of course, a real level of the support. Uh, we had here a small attempt of a breakout however the real level of the support has indeed been respected now where exactly we can start buying the nzd usd well first of all let's identify the tech pro the tech profit level so the nzd usd still has about at least at least i would say like um how many pips almost 66 pips to rise to reach the nearest strong key resistance level which was also uh, a real level of a support in the past as 0 0.6006 uh, however let's now move to the one hour time frame to find the exact and accurate entry where exactly we can start buying this pair well the answer lies of course on the strongest levels of a support and the resistance and also of course uh, the trend lines so therefore i want to highlight right here exactly right there that was right here, my friends, actually, to be precise, like that. That was, of course, a real level of the resistance. Now, let's track the history. So the market has actually been able... The market has actually been able to respect that level as a support right here. Then as a resistance also, look at that. That was exact reversal. Right here also, a support. And finally, right here, two attempts of the support. Therefore, I believe this level at 0 0.59141 is actually a strong level as a support. And we have to wait for the NZD USD to fall to another 24 pips before we can proceed to buy it. Now, let's confirm this with the support trend lines. So what I will do is simply... You can't actually guys this is my strategy uh that's why i call it the magic of trend lines and you can actually find the, these two videos on my channel called the magic of trend lines so basically what you will do is simply pick any key support trend line this one or this one or this one or this one any of them just pick any of them and just connect all the support trend lines along the way check this out as you can see right here, this has actually been a support trend line. Again, resistance trend line. Uh, finally, resistance trend line. And then finally, again, here, a support trend line. So therefore, if I zoom in right now, now look at that. Right here, we're having a support trend line number one. Therefore, if the USD cut is going to continue, sorry, the NZD USD, if it's going to continue the fall, I will buy actually right here on the second attempt of the support trend line, which means we might actually have to... Um, rise our expectations to be right here exactly i know i know i know we just have analyzed that support level but again that support trend line actually is a game changer uh, not a game changer i mean it's just we have to edit the signal based on it however we have to wait for the signal to uh, this uh, pair to fall to another 20 pips before we can proceed to buy it and again guys the take profit level will be at the resistance right here aiming approximately 85 pips profit from the signal and the safe zone that shouldn't be ranging lower than this level of a real support as uh, 0 0.58856 uh, for about, I would say, 34 pips only. Let me now write the signal for you. And there goes your signal, my friends, for the NZD USD. Hopefully it will be a good one. And now finally, let's move to the gold, which also, guys, uh, I have already sent it as a deal of the day. 
um i think yesterday or last night i'm not really sure however uh this deal of the day guys is still active i think let me just go here to the gold and see yes look at that this is of course the deal of the day for the gold we said that we will buy the gold at 1925.73 now the gold is actually approaching that level only 36 pips far away from it so it's gonna just remain the same guys that's gonna be our gold signal uh let me just do it here for you so you will actually understand better just like that and of course uh since we're talking about midweek analysis uh, i will delete the stop loss this is not gonna be a stop loss right now it's gonna be a safe zone for the gold and let's wait for the gold to fall to this level of a previous support as we can see also right here also we are having a resistance trend line uh therefore right here we can see the resistance trend line and the gold has just made the bullish break out from it and therefore indeed that's gonna be uh, a best level to start buying the gold if it reached that level of a broken resistance trend line to create here a new support trend line so therefore guys gold signal remains the same from the deal of the day so until then guys i hope uh, everything was clear for you and hopefully it will be a good uh, uh, week for us and again uh watch out for the fomc guys even though i said i'm expecting it to be the same still we have to be careful and in my opinion to be safe never never leave any trade opened during these news always close your positions before the news are out if they if nothing happened you can reopen them again anyway guys uh until then i hope that is informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching